Hi now, welcome back to my channel. I am Miki and today we are doing a pure pan porn video. Basically what that entails is me showing you all the pan that I've accumulated since forever, since this is the very first video I've ever done of this and just showing you, yeah, all the pan that I've hit. I figure every once in a while, maybe every several months, when I do accumulate more pan in different shades, I will then show you guys updates but i just always love seeing what people have hit pan in and i love hearing people's opinions on whether or not they like the products they've hit pan on so i thought you guys might enjoy it too all right so just sit back relax and watch some pan porn okay so the first product is this mac this is a powder foundation my color is in nc25 it's very difficult to see right there um, I've had this for a couple of years. I really need to use it up and get it out of my collection. But yeah, that's all it is, is a powder foundation. And I hit pan on it quite a long time ago, but I've still got it and I need to use it up. I like it though. The next two products are both in this, in the balm of your hand. This is from the Balm Cosmetics. And this was kind of like a bunch of their greatest hits all put together into one palette. And I hit pan on the Mary Luminizer right here, which is a highlight shade that I really, really enjoy using. It is a great tried and true favorite for a lot of people. Um, I have also hit pan in this Hot Mama blush, which is a warm kind of coral peachy tone. And it's also really, really pretty. I also have this super old school Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. I don't even know what it's called. It's one of the shadow box ones. And I hit pan in Honey right here. And this is just your really true gold gold shade. And I actually really enjoy using this shade. Next is the Laura Geller Eye Wearables palette. Um, I've hit pan so far in Buttercream, which just sets my eyeshadow soft lilac here which is a very sorry excuse for a transition shade but that's what I'm using it as and also spiced coffee which you know barely deepens up the crease it's also this whole palette's just not that great next I have my Lorac Pro contour palette I feel like contour palettes are usually what I hit pan in the most um, beige highlight here is completely gone yellow highlight I'm you know, almost completely finished with medium contour here is definitely definitely what I use for my everyday contour. Deep contour barely ever gets used. It's probably never going to hit pan. And light contour right here. Um, I've also hit quite a lot of pan and I use this, you know, sometimes to bronze up my face and also I use this to contour my nose. The next item is this Douce blush, and I don't know what shade this is, but it's a very warm, peachy toned blush, and I've hit quite a lot of pan, as you can tell in this. My next product is this ColourPop shadow. This is in the color Belladonna Lily, and you can see right there in the middle, I have hit a itsy bitsy bit of baby pan, and this is a pretty shade. I hit pan so quickly in these ColourPop shadows it's unreal but i do enjoy using this this is right here as you can see all this pan this is from the Lorac pro 3 uh palette um that's dark mocha hit pan in this is i think that's nude and that's blush and i use both of these as just to set my eye primer with this is terracotta i love this as a transition shade but it was so hard no wait that's not this is clay this is clay and i love using this in my crease this is terracotta which i did hit pan in before but then i repressed it because it was too hard and when i repressed it actually performs a lot better now this is blush what is this that's nude blush i don't remember what this is called i'm not kidding out um <laughs> cream no, that's not what it is. I don't remember what this is called. But all these have pan. And this is, I believe, I want to say it's like dark brown. Maybe it's light brown. I don't remember. But I was using it in the crease and also to darken up my outer V. 
It's hard to tell because this shade is so metallic. This is light pewter and I love this as a lid shade, but that also has pan in it. And then this is, I can look at this one, hold on. All right, this one's dark mocha. I don't know what this one is. Truffle. You would think after using these for like a whole year, I remember. So yeah, I've got pan and dark mocha there, which I don't really like using. And then I've got pan over here and truffle. Um, but yeah, that's all the pan. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see each and every one of you in my next video. Make sure you, I don't know why I'm pointing up there. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.